Yeah. Are you a Nikki fan? What? Am I a Nikki fan? Pull up in the Sri Lanka. Pull up in the monster automobile gangster with a bad bitch that came from Sri Lanka. Yeah, I'm in a tanga, color a Willy Wonka. You could be the king, but watch the queen conquer. First things first, I'll eat your brains. Then I'm a Welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Mo. And if you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, hey girl, hey. Um, if y'all didn't know, this is the rawest nation in the world. And we are coming back. We are better than ever. We are vlogging. We are putting our videos, putting our content. We're doing a whole damn thing. You know what I'm saying? So I am currently driving. That's why I'm looking straight ahead. Because when you drive, you look straight ahead. It's a little dusty in here. Let me wipe that out. So yeah, I'm on my way to my shop. If y'all didn't know, I am a makeup artist. I am an entrepreneur. I am a business owner. I am a YouTuber. Yes. So we are on our way to the shop. And yeah. What I am about to do is um hold on. I'm about to go to the shop so I can do some clients um yeah i just want to come over here and start the vlog or whatever i'm gonna show y'all my shop i'll show y'all all the things because i did it and then i'm gonna vent to y'all when i park because i got some shit to say So I am in the workspace. Y'all gonna see it's so cute. Can meet all the girls. I'm gonna shout they self out. Love yours. No such thing. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. Love yours. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. No such thing. No such thing. Heart beating fast. Let a nigga know that he alive. Fake niggas, mad snakes, snakes in the grass. Let a nigga know that he arrived. Sleeping on your level, cause it's beauty in the struggle, nigga. It's beauty in the struggle, nigga. Yeah. It's beauty in the struggle, ugliness and the success. Hear my words and listen to my signal of distress. I grew up in the city and know sometimes we had less. Compared to some of my niggas down the block, man, we were blessed. And life can't be no fairy tale, no once upon a time. But I be goddamn if a nigga don't be trying So tell me mama please why you be drinking all the time Cause all the pain he brought you still linger in your mind Cause pain still lingers on mine On the road to riches, listen, this is what you find The good news is, nigga, you came a long way The bad news is, nigga, you went the wrong way The green is better Life that's better than yours No such thing as a life that's better than yours Think being broke is better Life that's better than yours for what's money without happiness Or hard times without the people you love Though I'm not sure what's about to happen next I ask for straight from the Lord of the book Cause I've been strong so far But I can feel my grip loosening Quick, do something before you lose it for good Get it back and use it for good And touch the people how you did like before I'm tired of living with demons Cause they always inviting more Think being broke was better Now I don't mean that phrase with no disrespect to all my niggas out there living in debt, cash and minimal checks. Turn on the TV, see a nigga Rolex, and fantasize about a life with no stress. I mean, it's just sincerely. And as a nigga who was once in your shoes, living with nothing to lose, I hope one day you hear me. Always gonna be a bigger house somewhere, but nigga, feel me. Long as the people win that motherfucker, love you dearly. Always gonna be a whip that's better than the one you got. Always gonna be some clothes that's fresher than the ones you rock. Always gonna be a bitch that's better out there on the tour. 
Okay, y'all. So, I am done with clients for today. I didn't really record too much of the first one. Um, but I did get the second one out of both looks. I really like the second one. It was really cute, different. Um, uh, right now I'm getting ready to go up to one of my old jobs. It's one of my old jobs to get some things figured out because like what's really going on? Yeah, that's what we about to go do. So I'm doing my, I mean, I was going to do my makeup regardless. I'm not doing my makeup to go to work. Damn, I just got this makeup on my blonde hair. <sighs> Fuck. But y'all, um, I really don't have nothing to talk about. I want something to talk about because I ain't really sat down and talk to y'all in a minute. But, um... Yeah, so, oh, let me get the tea. So, basically, I had this customer. So, she messaged me last night, y'all. Like, we talking, it's about, this must be wrong one. Yeah, it's, it's about, um, what time was it? It's damn near, like, about to be 12 o'clock. That's what I'm going to say. About to be 12 o'clock. So, she basically wanted my, me to make some clip-ins for her daughter and do her daughter hair and do her daughter makeup. Now, I, if you know, I used to do hair, but I don't do hair no more because I just don't have a passion to do it like that. And I'm the type of person, if I don't have a passion for something, I'm not going to do it. Like, point blank, period. I'm not going to waste my mind or nobody else's time. So, yeah, so I just, um, I just don't do hair. But... If so, I do pageants, fashion shows, I do stuff like that. If you are um having an event or like going to a wedding, birthday, like stuff like that, if you want you want your hair done, I have no problem with doing your hair. Now, I don't typically do um like frontal installs and stuff, but or closure so ends, whatever, whatever. I don't be doing all that. But it was her prom. That's extra money. I'm going to do it. So all she wanted was clip-ins. I'm like, cool. Clip-ins is really easy. I was going to make clip-ins, all that. So, y'all, we talking, going back and forth, da 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 Yes, we're going to do this. We're going to do that. Then when it comes time to, um, for her to send the deposit, her total was $230. I told her the deposit was $80 because what I do is you pay the travel fee up front, you pay the deposit, and then I make her pay for me to get started on the hair. Boom. That's that's, that's good. Two thirty, you pay eighty right now. Mind you, this eighty is going towards two thirty, so you're gonna you're gonna pay it regardless. She didn't want to respond, so I'm like, okay, you did all this talking, but then when it's time to send them up for the funds, you don't want to say nothing. And I'm telling y'all this story just because if you're booking a service. Asking questions is fine. Don't get me wrong. Especially if it's questions that's not listed. But sitting up there making all these plans, playing with somebody time. I could have been asleep, sir. I mean, ma'am. I could have been asleep. You over here asking me thousands of questions just to not send it. And then I ain't saying this is what she's going to do. I hope she not because she's going to be looking real stupid. If the day of, they be trying to like, okay, well, I'm ready to pay for it. Can you just take the money we get here? No, you don't have an appointment now because you want to play around and you think my time is to be wasted and play with. Like, no, no, sorry, you're out of luck. And then they want to badmouth you. Like, I had a client that did that and I don't know, think she did it intentionally. I don't know what was going on, but basically she hit me up about an appointment, told her the price, she ain't say nothing. But then the day of when it came, she said, oh, um, What's the new address? Um, ma'am, you don't have an appointment today. Oh, well, I told you. Yeah, you told me, but you didn't send no deposit. I don't move without no money. Like, period. Don't move with no money. Like, I don't do that. 
I feel like my makeup is not looking right because I can't see it. But yeah, I don't move without the funds. Like, I don't care. I don't move without the funds. And that's not to be like saying it's all about money. It's money home, you know, that's insurance. Like, I need to know that you're really trying to book an appointment. I need to know that this is a real appointment. Because if I come, if I drive to my studio and I get here, wait, set all this stuff up for you not to show up, that's beyond disrespectful. That's a slap in my face. And I don't like to be slapped in the face. I don't know about y'all. So when people require deposits and y'all be, oh, that's how you get scammed. That is exactly how you get scammed. But guess what? Do your research. That's your job to do the research. The scammer's going to scam you. They're a scammer. If you don't do your research and you get scammed, the scammer scammed you. That's your fault. The scammer's job is not to make sure you do your research. So if you get scammed, you know, like that happened to my mom. She got scammed. And I told my mom, like, when you booking people, send send their page to me because I'll tell you if it's real or not. Like, sometimes, I'm not going to lie to y'all, some of these scammers, they done, they, they got it set up. Or they hack people's pages. You know what I'm saying? They hack pages. And now y'all think that person is a scammer and how the time their page was hacked. It happens. It's unfortunate. It causes you an interference. I mean, a inconvenience. And it's unfortunate. But it's life. But don't be coming to me like I'm a scammer. Trying to play with me and my policies like I'm a scammer. You're not going to be able to look at me. Bro, I just dropped it for like five minutes and didn't catch it. Make it make sense. But, um, yeah, so that was my little one-on-one -on -one to y'all. But yeah, I'm going to go to my job, y'all. So let me get y'all the tea. So I work at this place and I'm not going to say the name of it because I just, it's not really necessary. So I work at this place and long story short, when I first started working there, I did an interview. They said I got the job, whatever, whatever. So a few days later, I come back to um, to the first meeting. So the next day, they they text me. Well, the manager texts me. She says, long story short, I can't wear my hair and twist no more. This is when I did my vlog. If y'all haven't seen my um, party with me for a whole month straight vlog, go check that out. I had my twist in for my hostess and all that because I didn't want to keep doing my hair. So... Um, Yeah, so I went ahead and told her, like, okay, well, mind you, y'all, we was only training. We wasn't even open yet. So me coming in there with my hair and twists is no customers. Mm, red flag. Because, like, girl, be for real. So I just was like, okay, well, I'll let you know when I change my hair. Because I'm not going to change my hair just for no job. Like, first of all, this is discrimination. And then I asked her, like, is the owner black? And she was like, yeah. Like, oh, well. Hmm. That's weird because if you're black and you know being in Houston, bro, it gets hot here. Like, it's hot here. This is not no five degrees hotter than something. No, bro. It'd be like 120 degrees here. Like, who's going to be wearing, like, mm, I don't know about y'all, but I know I'm not going to be doing it. Oh, shit. Hold on, y'all. That was my friend asking me to come outside, y'all. I really can't go outside. I mean, I can, but I can't. I'll let, I'm going to let y'all know what's really going on after um, I figure everything out. Um, yeah, I got some stuff going on. So, I really just been chilling for the most part. It really don't bother me. Abundance. It really doesn't bother me. Um, as much as I thought it would but somebody stole my fucking shit and I'm blue. What
I know my makeup probably look odd as mess because I just do something on. Probably look ashy. Yeah, I'm just gonna go up here. Oh, what did I? I forgot what I was telling y'all. Shit. Um, feel like I was telling y'all what was going on about my job, how they was playing with me, but I don't remember. I don't remember, but I'm going to just tell y'all. So, I'm going to go to my job. So long, oh, yeah, yeah, I was telling y'all that. I was to yell at. So, yeah, so they told me, like, oh, yeah, you can't wear the twist. So, I just told, like, okay, well, we don't, I can't wear them just to, like, train it because it's not open. We just train it. They're like, no, the owner doesn't like that. So, I'm like, so is the owner black or white? She's like, it's a black man, LOL. This is not an LOL moment, sweetheart, because, first of all, he black, but he don't want me wearing ethnic styles. Like I'm black, I'm ethnic. Like this is not a this is not a game, sweetheart. I'm ethnic. I'm black. Ugh, that white stuff. Why y'all ain't telling? This will happen. We don't use our beauty. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm just like, okay, well, I don't know because I'm not about to be. Going out for nobody else stuff like how my makeup should look. I mean, how my hair should look. I pay for my own hair. It'd be different if y'all like giving out hair vouchers or it's somebody in the group y'all paying them extra to do our, keep our hair laid. Because if you work in a in a environment like serving, you're running back and forth. You're going to sweat, and then on top of that, the, the weather is already hot as hell. What you think gonna happen? I'm not about to be wearing no lace. Like, no, no. So, yeah, like, so they asked me to come to training. I had told her, like, eventually my hair changed. I told her, like, okay, I'll change my hair. Do you want me to come? She's like, yeah, you can come to training. So I was about to go to training. She never told me what time to come, nothing. So I just was going to show up when it was time to show up, when it was getting lit. Because I don't train when I work service. I just work because I'm not about to sit here and go over buttons with you, like, the only way I learned the menu is if people order, like, no bullshit. So I was going to go late so I could work. Mind you, not didn't have no uniform, didn't have nothing. They had to give it to me, so just show up type stuff. So I'm on the way there, y'all, mind you. I got my, um, I got my, my friends with because it's a little sister's birthday. So we are in the same car. I was going to have them drop me off. We're going to go there, turn up, then go out after I was doing my training. So on my way there, she takes me, she takes me out the group chat. So I said, okay. And I went about my business. Went, I went out somewhere else. Cause girl, I'm not about to come argue with you at eight o'clock. I'm just not. So the next, like a few days later, I text her like, hey, I know she took me out the group chat. Um, blah, blah, blah. She was like, yeah, you didn't show up to training. I said, yeah, you didn't tell me your time. And I was literally on my way, but I wasn't finna try to come argue or, you know, hash things out while it was a, a night going on the ship, whatever. And plus, I really wanted to go out. So I was just like, it is what it is type stuff. So she was like, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Just come um, this day and blah, blah, blah. So I'll come to work, y'all. Kill my shit. Everybody up there like, oh, we really like you. Blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, cool. So long story short, they just act, they started acting real shady, real weird. Not even they, she was. So, I had this party of 20 I needed to book. She wasn't trying to let me work the section. She basically talking about, some, yeah, you can book it, but you can't work it. Who? Who not going to work it? Who? Nah. I said, well, in Houston, when you book, you work. And she's like, oh, well, we're from Miami. We don't do that. Everybody want to keep telling me about Houston this, Houston that. But we from Miami. Girl, I don't care where you from. You're in Houston. Like, it's one thing if this is about, like, you personal, like, that's not how you do stuff. Cool. This is this is business, baby. I'm trying to get some money. And then who, if, and I told her, like, 
Well, my section's gonna go where I go. So if you not if you not uh basically like if you're not gonna let me work it, they're not gonna come, period. Because that's just how it operates with me. You're not gonna take no money out of my pocket. And then I even offered her a deal, like, okay, well, I'll take the grat in a way, just get the tips. Like, that's how I used to do when I used to manage promo team. All right, you book, but you don't work. All right, cool. You keep the grat, you keep the tips. Or you keep the grat, you keep the tips. One or the other. But it always makes sense for that person working to keep the tips because that's solely based off their service. She ain't want to do that. All right, cool. No deal. Like, got a whole attitude with me. But I'm just like, baby, you're not even like, you're not even being realistic. Then she calls herself trying to get loud with me, catch her attitude, all type of stuff, y'all. So I'm just on the phone, like, laughing, like, what the fuck? Like, bitch, you really angry? So then, um, now my mom has, like, this little Facebook group she be in. So long story short, my mom, like, well, we want to book a book an event want you to be the main waitress because it was an event of 60 people so i can't do the main waitress by myself but if i'm the main waitress it's my event that i book i just need help i can i can work 60 people no bullshit but we sell food all that stuff so it's just a better it's just easier if um i get help which is no problem i was gonna handpick who i wanted to help me because this event is coming this money is coming from me so if i'm not just gonna allow anybody to work with me so basically, I hit them up, letting them know. And mind you, my mom and them told them. And they was like, oh, yeah, that's fine. We're going to let her work, blah, 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 blah. So then when I started talking to them, like, hey, uh, what's going on with the parking? They want wristbands, all this stuff. They're not texting me back, y'all. Mind you, ain't put me on the schedule. Took me off the scheduling. Didn't fire me, though. They didn't want to fire me because, really, you don't have no reason to fire me. And you just mad because I really made you feel the type of way. And I ain't bring that money through the door, but I took it to my other job. So, um, yeah, so they was trying to, like, slick, do some slick stuff. So, I text the, the GM, let her know what's going on. That bitch didn't text me back. So, at this point, y'all playing with me, and we're about to get active. So, I'm like, okay, cool. I'm going to just, you know, wait it out. So, then, my situation happened to me, and I was just over all of that shit. Like, I'm over the club, I'm over all this shit. So, I just left the group chat. So, mind you, I know I have to check up there. I'm about to go up there and get it. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go check now. But I was waiting for the owner to get up there because I was going to talk to him about the whole situation. Like, you know, let them know let them know what's going on and all that stuff. Because y'all been dead ass. Because y'all been dead ass ignoring me. And y'all been dead ass, like, doing some shifty ass shit. And I'm bringing money to though. And that's nothing to say. So, yeah. So, we on our way up there right now. And... I'm waiting for the owner to come up there so I can talk to him and let him know what was going on and let the um, the manager know. And I'm gonna say, well, I'm gonna work my event on Sunday. That's money in my pocket. I'm not, I'm not missing that. Like, I'm not missing that. Where's my foundation? I'm not missing that. Like, no. So I'm gonna go up there. So I'm just get myself together. Probably eat a taco or two. But yeah, I'm not trying to go up there and like kick it or do nothing like that uh my storage getting full so i'm gonna come back on here when i finish and when i like am walking out because i'm gonna show y'all the um the suite too it's really not much to see but i'm gonna show it to y'all because i know y'all probably want to see that but yeah i'm gonna give if they're real sister your brows is not supposed to be twins, y'all. Tell y'all that. Like, it's not what they're supposed to be. I know we be wanting it, but that's not what, it, what it's for. But, okay. So, y'all, I'm running late. I have an appointment. Um, My video will be all over the place. I didn't even record nothing when I went to my job last night. Um, but I got to give y'all an update to you on that. Basically, I ain't even gonna make it long, but nothing really happened. They, they talking about my check is in Miami, and that don't even make sense because I know I have a check up there. Second, they talking about some, oh, we're gonna get back to you on that, or whatever, whatever. But I honestly, I don't even wanna work there. Like, I just wanted to work my event because I know I was gonna make a bag, 
But since they own some funny shit, they got it. Let them have it. And let God get, get the karma. Because the manager that did all that funny shit from the jump, that bitch got fired. So that's what happens when you play with me. You know, my ancestors don't play about me, kid. But yeah. So I'm about to head to the shop right now. Um, I got a client at 5. I'm not going to get there until 4.30. So, yeah. This is the fit. It's not really much. Oh, can I see? Ooh, who's shorts? <laughs> yeah. This is how we come in. And I got my Converse I'm going to put on. And, yeah. We're looking chill today, but cute. I'm gonna do my makeup later. Um, yeah. Okay, y'all. So I just got to Starbucks. So long story short, my client needs to push an appointment back. I only had two clients today, so I ain't even charge her. I wasn't really tripping about it. It is what it is. Um, so I'm at Starbucks about to get something. I don't know what I'm on, but I got a gift card and I've been wanting to use it. That's cute. Wait a minute. Is that the pink drink? I've never had the pink drink, so I'm gonna try that for the first time. Um, sit outside or whatever. Get a little scone or something. Um, put some lip gloss on. But yeah, y'all. So have y'all ever heard this song by? Snow, Snowa, Sana Alagra, Sana Alagra. I don't know how to pronounce her name. So if I butcher it, oh well. Her voice, y'all. 30 out of 10. Like, that song, Do for Love. What I would I do. Y'all, she snap. She ain't never had to do all that. Like, bitch, I seen that song and I feel like I'm in love. I'm over here trying to. <laughs> I'm over here singing a song trying to imagine somebody I love in my brain. Bitch, nothing. Oh, I already closed. Girl, no, I mean, I love, somebody, but you know what I mean? Like, in love, like, nothing. Like, like, what I would not do Bro, she's singing how she's just so in love with somebody Like, I want to experience that I want to be in love Like, y'all ain't never wanted to be in love Like, I know cheating is normalized And that's very weird to me on society Like, why do y'all want to cheat so bad? It's very odd, very strange, very weird To just want to have multiple sex partners, multiple hoes Like, no, like, I've tried it, y'all It's for the birds Like, one, who's trying to get STD? Two, who's trying to get STD? Three, who's trying to get pregnant by somebody they don't even like for real? Like, it's not that deep. It's not that serious. Being loved and let's, let's parlay. Like, let's kick it. Let's do that. So, I really just don't get it. But I'm trying to be in love, y'all. Like, I'm trying to be in love. Like, I'm about to get a boyfriend. I'm about to get a boyfriend. I'm about to get a boyfriend. Like, I had a dream about my crush last night, y'all. That's crazy, like. I had a dream about my crush. So like long story short, if you know me, you know my dreams be crazy. Like my mama and my family's so tired of me in my dreams for years, y'all. I've always had wild dreams. Like, and I be, I really can't tell the difference between my dreams and real life sometimes. Like I ask somebody like, oh, you remember when we did this thing? Like, bitch, we never did that. And I'm like, I dreamt it. Or like me and my, you know how they say like your dream world is, parallel dimensions like a different version of you or me and my dreams like i'm really conscious in all dimensions <laughs> if you know you know i ain't even gonna get into all that but like if you understand what i'm saying you <laughs> you understand what i'm saying but no so y'all so basically this was kind of like future tense or whatever and basically i had an event to go speak at i was supposed to speak at an event so i had paid my friend to stab me like she did cute it was real different real cute um, or whatever. So she was like, I'm going to drive because I ain't want to drive. And that's really my pitch. So we driving to the event and then like somebody on my team called me like, 
so and so is speaking at the event too. He on the panel. And I was just like, bitch, stop right. They was like, no, he's on the panel. And I was just like, oh shit. Like, this is it. And I woke up. I woke up. Y'all was so mad. I woke up like, oh my God. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna get the guy. <laughs> oh, my teeth look yellow. What's up? Hold on, cause y'all gonna be fucked up. Y'all gonna be fucked up. Why oh, my teeth look so yellow? Okay. There you go. Cause they trying to play me. I got too many hoes I can't hang you You like to put that shit in your nose But I still love you Be doing shit that nobody knows In the streets they be thanking your lady for that home It was too goddamn sweaty for me. Like, hold on, let me see if my friend texts me. This man's in the tire zone because I don't want jazz. If y'all don't know, this is like avocado toast. The only thing I'm missing is lemon pepper. <laughs> if you don't put lemon pepper on your avocado toast, sleep. You sleep. <laughs> I'm sorry my team looks so yellow right here. Like, I promise y'all they is not that yellow. Like, what I look like, walk around yellow team. I do wanna go get a cleaning, so if anybody got any recommendations for Houston uh, dentist, so I can go get a cleaning, let me know. Preferably black. Preferably black. I love a good free snack. Shout out to Jade for my Starbucks gift card. That was a dope gift. Thanks, girl. And he gave me two starches because I'm black. He already knew. Yeah, she finna use the whole thing on one. Shrimp, sir. Shrimp. That's good. Oh my God, it's fine. I'm so green. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what's in the pink drink. I hope there ain't no milk in here. Mm. Taste it. That's so good. Where's in this? I should have asked. I'm like, oh. <laughs> mm. oh my God. That's right again to me. Nope. 
happened. So we just Thank you. like a lot of stuff been happening to me. And one of those Thank things you. is I broke one of my camera, which is the three thousand dollar camera. Say so hi. Valentine's Day come. I'm being a dick. Like a dick. We're like, let's just say goofy, because y'all know I talk country. So I'm being Give goofy and mm -hmm. I end up dropping my camera. Everything broke. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Girl. Why is you me? <laughs> okay, how far are you? Okay, okay. Uh, he not, he's over it. <laughs> What's up, y'all? So, I'm talking quiet because it's late as fuck. And I say late as fuck, y'all, it's late as fuck. But as you can see, I'm about to go out. I hate this part. Um, but as you see, I'm about to go out. Look so fucking good. Like, I'm not even finna go out for more than like two hours. Like, no shit. I'm gonna go out for like literally two motherfucking hours. Um, Back out, I hope that's okay. I can't leave you alone. 